First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. I also want to give a mighty shalom to those that are out here doing this labor in sincerity and in truth. We're the watchmen for Israel here in Pittsburgh, here to wake up you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, letting y'all know that y'all are the children of Israel and that y'all need to come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments and have faith in Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And we're for the elect and those that are pertaining to the elect of that group. And we're going to start out uh, with the book of Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 20. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 10 verse 20. Bring it out. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel. That the remnant of who? That, that the, the remnant, remnant of, of Israel, Israel. That the remnant of Israel. You so-called black Latinos and Native Americans. And you Israelites that are scattered from one end of the earth unto the other amongst the other nations or what have you. Let's get that from the top one more time. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 10 verse 20. And it shall come to pass in that day the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob. The house of Jacob. That's you 12 tribes of Israel. Reading on. Shall no more again stay, stay upon him that smote him. Hey, so there's not going to be any more of our people wanting to go to the so-called white man for everything. That, that, that are going to have to rely on the heathen for everything. Reading on. But shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. Exactly. So we're going to be staying upon Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's you right. See? That's 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 going to be our strength that we're going to rely upon. You see? Let me get the book of uh, uh, Jer uh, let's get uh, Jeremiah uh, 17 and, and verse 5 by Book of Shah. Uh, reading on. Oh, you got it? Jer uh, okay, Khan. No, no, you got it. Okay. You got it. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 5. And it reads, Thus said the Lord, Cursed be, be that man that trusteth in man. Exactly. Cursed be that man that trusteth in man. That's right. You see, so our people that want to trust in the so-called white men who are the Edomites according to the Bible, hey, you're going to be cursed for that. That's Reading right. On. Thus said the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man and maketh flesh his arm. That maketh what? And maketh flesh, flesh his, his arm. arm. Hey, we got to be making Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, our power. You see, because because the arm represents your strength. Right. You see, according to the scriptures, and if we're making the strength our enemy, hey, we're not going to get anywhere in that regard. Right. Reading on, and whose heart departed from the Lord? And whose heart departed from who? And whose heart departed from the Lord? Or your mind departs from the Lord. Read. Right, let's go back down. Let's go down to seven, Bubba Kishaw. Verse seven. Uh, yes. Jeremiah, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter seventeen, verse seven. Blessed is that man that trust, trusts in the Lord. Blessed is that man that trusts in who? That trusts in the Lord. Hey, we got to be making the Lord our trust. You see, for the Lord is not a liar. He said that he would never forsake his people. You see, so if he says he's never going to forsake his people and that there's going to be a remnant that's going to be saved out of the destruction of the house of Israel, hey, we got to believe those things, Israel, right. and be obedient to his voice. Right. Reading on. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty God, Yahweh. For though thy people are, Salakim, for though thy people, Israel, be as the sand of the sea. Yeah, you can't count the children of Israel, you see? Because, hey, we've been scattered from one end of the earth into the other, you see? So it's a great multitude of you 12 tribes of Israel, you see? But one thing that we got to make clear is that only a remnant of the 12 tribes of Israel are going to be saved out of the destruction, you see? So we got to be we got to be making sure that we got our eyes open and that we got our ears open to this truth. Right. Our people walk around out here in darkness, man. Right. Let me get the book of uh, John chapter 3 and uh, verse 19, Bubba Kesha. And then we'll get, um, uh, uh, we'll go uh, uh, to uh, Ezekiel uh, 12 and uh, 15. This is the book of John chapter 3 verse 19. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world. And men love darkness rather than light. Men love what? Men love darkness rather than light. Hey, you so-called black Latinos and Native Americans, y'all love darkness. Y'all love the wickedness and the, and the, and the wisdom of this world. Right. Y'all hate these law, statutes, and commandments. Right. Anytime those scriptures come out, our people scatter. Either that or they close their ears and, and just continue on walking. Right. You see? But when all hell is breaking loose out here or whatever, hey, you're going to wish that you hearken to this uh, to this word here. You're going to wish that you listen to the Lord's people, his servants that are out here on these highways and hedges. 
Reading on, uh, 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 Second Chronicles th uh, 36 and 15, Bumper Kishon. This is the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 36, verse 15. Look it out. And the Lord God, Yahweh, of their father sent to them by his messengers, rising up bedtimes, oh, Salakia, betimes, and ascending because he had compassion on his people. Hey, hey the Lord, Yahweh, he has compassion on his people, you see? By having his by having servants come out on these highways and hedges, you know, in the cheap places of concourse with the loudspeaker trying to wake our people up. Hey, that's right. the Lord showing compassion on his people. That's right. If he want if he wanted to, he could do what he pleases. He could just he could just destroy us that's if right. he wanted to. But right now, he's sending his men out here on these highways and hedges to wake our people up, to come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments, to be able to have a chance at being part of that number of the remnant that are going to be saved. Reading on. Having compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. But they mock the messengers of Yahweh. They do what? But, but they, they mock, mock the messengers of Yahweh. Hey, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And hey, y'all be mocking the men of the Lord, man. You know? But that's okay, though. Because, hey, y'all are part of that number that are going to be destroyed. That's right. You see? Just like how there's going to be a multitude of, 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 well, actually a remnant of Israelites that are going to be saved, there's going to be a multitude of Israelites and the heathen that are going to perish. That's Let me right. get out of the book of uh, uh, Second Esther, uh, chapter 9, and verse 22, uh, Bubba Gashaw. You see? Yeah, hey, because uh, the Most High is all about balance. Let me get uh, uh, Proverbs 11 and 1. Uh, Papa Kishaw. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, verse 22. Let the multitude perish. Hey, let the multitude what? Let the multitude perish. Mm -hmm. Then which was born in vain. Hey, see, you, you uh, the wicked two thirds, the two parts of Israel that are going to be destroyed, and the rest of you heathen, or what have you, y'all were born in vain. You see, y'all were born to be destroyed. That's that. That's the role that y'all uh, that y'all uh, feel uh, or what have you, according to the Lord's divine purpose. Right. You see, because the Most High is all about balance. He's not just coming to, to bring destruction and save everybody from the destruction just to be doing it. That's right. No, He's coming with destruction and plagues to destroy the wicked. Because hey, He does what He pleases. That's right. You see. Let, let me get uh, the, uh, the book of uh, uh, Proverbs uh, 16 and uh, verse 4, Bubba Gashaw. Oh, you got it? Oh, you got it. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 4. Check it out. The Lord Yahweh hath made all things for himself. Hey, so the Lord, he made the righteous and he made the wicked. You see? That's right. And he did it for his own divine purpose. And this is why he made the wicked. God. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Hey, hey and the day of evil, that, that's that destruction that's coming. You see, he made the wicked so that, hey, so that they could be destroyed. You right. see? And he, and, he, and he has his righteous, hey, his grape, or what have you, uh, to be kept, his elect, to be delivered. That's right. You see, for his own divine purpose. Let me get the book of uh, Ezekiel, uh, chapter uh, 12, and uh, verse 15, Bubba Gasha. Yeah, and we look at Proverbs 11 and 1. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 1. A false balance and an abomination unto the Lord Yahweh. Hey, a false balance is what? A false balance is an abomination unto the Lord Yahweh. Exactly, a false balance, you see. So, hey, the, the Lord uh, deals with, with just weights and just balances with everything that he creates and everything that pertains unto him, you see. It's always a just balance. So if you have the wicked that are going to be destroyed in the day of evil, then you're going to have the righteous that are going to be delivered. That's you right. see? That, that's a just balance. Uh -huh. Reading on. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 12, verse 15. Bring it out. And they shall know that I am the Lord when I shall scatter them among the nations and disperse them in the countries. Exactly. You see? And, and we've been scattered from one end of the earth unto the other for disobedience, man. You know, let me get uh, the book of Second Ezra, uh, chapter two, and verse seven, uh, real quick, uh, Bubba Kishon. Oh, 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 uh, alms. Hey, uh, alms. Still, hey, let, let's get a, a couple of alms scriptures here, or what have you. Uh, the water, brother. Uh, let me get uh, the book of. Um, hey, let me get uh, the book of. Uh, oh, you got it. Uh, first Peter four and eight. This is the book of First Peter, chapter four, verse eight. 
And above all things, have free, free charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sin. Hey, charity shall do what? Charity shall cover the multitude of sin. Hey, charity shall cover the multitude of sins, you see? So, hey, whenever you give charity, whenever you give alms, you see, because charity can come in many different forms, right. you see? Charity is answering your phone whenever you receive a phone call, you see, from somebody that might need your help, right. you see? Whether if it be uh, giving uh, some counsel or some understanding, whether if it be giving, uh, giving money, you know, giving food, Whatever it is in righteousness that you're giving, hey, that's alms right that's there, right. you see? And when you do these things, when you give your time and, and make your body a living sacrifice, hey, you're able to cover some sins, right. which is important in that day of judgment. That's right. Reading on. This is the book of Tobit, chapter 4 and verse 8. If thou hast abundance, give alms accordingly. Exactly. And let me get uh, Matthew 23. See, and if you have abundance, hey, you give according to that. You see? You, you make sure that what you're giving is a just balance. Reading on. That's right. If, if thou have but a little, be not afraid to give according to that little. Hey, so, if you, uh, Salakio, uh, uh, what was that you said, sir? I said, I said, I see y'all, 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 Hey, hey, exactly, and, 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 and you uh, uh, covering a multitude of sins and doing it. Oh, no, 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 we're, we're good, we're good, sir, or what have you. Thank you. It, 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 well, thank you, it's just uh, the thought, or what have you, you did it in righteousness, or what have you. Yeah, I was talking to you all the time. Hey, so, hey, that's all praise. All praise. For thou layest up a good treasure for thyself. Hey, let's, start, let's start from the top up with the shelf warning. Right. This is the book of Tobit, chapter 4, verse 8. If thou hast abundance, give alms accordingly. If thou have but a little, be not afraid to give according to that little. Be not afraid to give according to that little, you see? So, hey, you can't be afraid uh, if, if you only have, you know, uh, uh, so much. That you, you that you will be laughed at, or that you will be ridiculed, or or that you will be rejected. You see, hey, you, you can't be like that, you know, because hey, giving it in the first place in righteousness, hey, that's pleasing to the heavenly Father. That's right. Moving on. For thou layest up a good treasure for thyself against the day of necessity. Because hey hey, that when that day of, of necessity, when that day of judgment comes, or what have you, hey, uh, those righteous acts, they're all recorded, and they're gonna uh, and, and they're gonna be able to help cover you and provide safety for you, or what have you, and mercy. Reading right. on, because that alms do deliver from death. Alms do what? Because that alms do deliver from yes. death. Hey, so when that day of judgment comes, hey, those alms, all of those righteous acts that that you partaken in, hey, they're gonna deliver you. And what have you, and you will live in that day. Reading on. And suffereth not to come into darkness. Hey, hey, so you're not going to be having the spirit of the Lord stripped from you, or what have you. Right. You're going to be walking in the light. Right. You see, let me get uh, Matthew uh, 23, 23. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 23, verse 23. Bring it out. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees. Do what? Woe unto, unto you, scribes and Pharisees. Pharisees. Hey, hey, destruction. To you scribes and Pharisees, man, you know it all, uh, uh, it, it, but don't know a doggone thing. You know, woe wo unto you, reading on. Hypocrites. Who are they? Hypocrites. Hypocrites, man. You know, that, that want to go around, you know, uh, rebuking or want to go around, you know, uh, uh, think, uh, saying that God loves everybody, spreading lies or what have you, when that's not in the scriptures, saying that you're a Bible expert and a scholar. Or what have you? When 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 you don't, haven't read the Bible and who knows how long with any type of understanding, reading on. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye pay tithes of mint and anus and cummins and have ultimate the where matters of the law. Exactly. So hey, you know you got people out here. Hey, they got money. You know they'll go to the church. You know they got prestige. They'll go sit in the front in the front pew. You know, the, the, the pastor will use that person's fame to draw more people into the church, to get more offerings or what have you. But hey, but what about keeping the law, statutes, and commandments out here? You know, what, what about loving your brother, you know, and judging your brother righteously? You know, what about that? You know, what, what about justice? 
or what have you. You see, they, they don't care about none of that. They, they just care about getting that money, you see, and thinking that that money is going to be able to deliver them. Let me get the book of um, uh, Sirach, uh, uh 34, and, um, and we'll start at, uh, at 16, Public Show. Judgment, mercy, and faith, these out ye have done, and not to leave the other undone. Exactly, judgment, mercy, and faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Not faith in idols out here. Not faith in the so-called white man and his system and his power structure or what have you, you know, and, and his stimulus checks and everything else that he tries to give us. Right. Faith in the Lord that we're going to be delivered. Right. You see? Reading on. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 34, verse 16. Bring it out. For the eyes of the Lord are upon them that love him. He is their mighty protection. And the way that you show that you love the Heavenly Father is by keeping his law, statutes, and commandments. You oh. see? Let me get uh, John uh, 14 and 15, man. You know? Hey, we got hey, we got to get some of that milk, too, now. You know? Hey, because we're delivering up a meal here. Right. This is the book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. Bring it out. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Hey, if ye love me, do what? If you love me, keep my commandments. These are the things that we got to be focused on, Israel. That's right. so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's right. Reading on. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 34, verse 16. For the eyes of the Lord are upon them that love him. He is their mighty protection and strong stay, a defense from heat. And a cover from the sun at noon. Hey, hey, the cover from destruction. You see, noonday. Hey, that that is the the height of confusion, the height of destruction, or what have you. You see, and hey, hey, we're gonna have protection in that day if we're part of that number following these laws, statutes, and commandments. Right. Reading on, and preservation from stumbling, and in help from falling. Exactly. He rises up the soul. And lighten up the eyes. Hey, he rising up the soul and lightening up the eyes. You see, let me get uh, Proverbs uh, 20 and uh, verse 12, uh, Bumper Kishaw, real quick. Because uh, whether or not if you get this understanding, it's of the Lord. Reading on. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 20, verse 12. Read it out. The hearing ear and the seeing eye, the Lord have made even both of them. Hey. So the Lord is the one that makes an eye that's able to see and ears that are able to hear. Right. You see? Reading on. He rises up the soul and lightens the eyes. He giveth health, life, and blessing. He that Salakia. He that sacrificeth of a thing wrongfully gotten, his offering is ridiculous. Hey, so hey, if you're out here and, and, and you're putting all of your uh, uh, you know uh, energy uh, into wickedness, into oppression, because that's really how you make it in this society, you know. If you're going to talk about being rich in this society or what have you, more than likely somebody is going to be oppressed. That's right. You know? So, and the Lord is not dealing with that. Reading on. And the gifts of unjust men are not accepted. And unjust men. Men that don't want to follow these laws, statutes, and commandments, whether if you're on this sign of the 12 tribes of Israel or whether if you're outside of the congregation or what have you. You see, just donating money and thinking that you're, you're, what you're donating is, is going to be able to deliver you or what have you, that's not going to deliver you if you're not following law, statutes, and commandments right. and doing it in the, uh, to glory the Heavenly Father. Uh, let me get uh, the book of 1 uh, Corinthians um, uh, 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 10 and uh, verse uh, 31, uh, Bubba Kishore. Uh 1 Corinthians uh, 10 and uh, 31. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. Bring it out. Whether therefore ye eat or drink, or rather ye do. Yeah, wh whatsoever you do. Hey, 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 we can get that one more time, Bubba Kishore. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. Whether therefore ye eat or drink, or whatsoever ye do. Yeah, so whatsoever ye do. So, and that includes giving alms. That includes giving charity uh, or what have you. What, whatever you do, this is what you're supposed to be doing it for. What, verse 31 again. Whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. Hey, we got to do it to glorify Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's why we do this. When we come out here to wake up our people, whether for prophesying to the wind or what have you, or whether if somebody decides to stop 
and listen, and then we edify them and wake them up that way. Right. But whatever it is, whether if we're shaking the hand against the nobles out here and setting our face against Mount Seir, then hey, man, whatever we're doing, we're doing it to glory, Yahweh Hashem and Yahweh Shai. Right. Not for our own glory. And let me get uh, the book of Psalms uh, 115 and uh, verse 1, Bubba Geshaw. And, uh, uh, and, uh, and you can stay there. Uh, let's get um, uh, to uh, uh, 34. Uh, Sirach 34. And I believe you are at 18, uh, Bubba Kishaw. 19. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 34, verse 19. The Most High is not pleased with the offerings of the wicked. And the Most High is what? The, the Most High, High is not pleased with the offerings of the wicked. Okay, so the, the Most High is not dealing with the offerings of the wicked, man. You know, th those that are bound, uh, bow down to the spiritual demon Satan, you know. And, and they want to uh, just, you know, give some money in, in that regard or, or set up, you know, some kind of uh, organization, you know, to be able to get a tax write off, you know. Hey, man, the, the, the most high, that's not righteousness, man. Right. We, we, we know what righteousness is. What's that's righteousness right. according to the scriptures? You see, hey, he already knows already. You know, you ask him a question, hey, well, what, what is our righteousness according to the Bible or what have you? Uh, oh, what, what, what you got? This is the book of righteousness. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 142. Bring it out. And it reads, Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy, thy law, law is, is the, the truth. truth. Hey, thy law is the truth. That's right. Or what have you. Let's get, uh, Deuteronomy 6 and 25. Or what have you. You see, we got to get a couple of these scriptures here that come out a lot, man. You know? Hey, because, hey, that's a strong foundation right there, man. You know, the, the milk, or what have you. You know? Because we got to understand what righteousness is. You know, setting up, you know, a, a, an organization or what have you in this wicked society. Hey, man, that's not the Lord's righteousness, man, because the Lord's coming to destroy this place. That's right. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 25. Yeah. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God. Exactly. That is our righteousness. It's following these laws, statutes, and commandments. Right. So if we're doing that and we're giving all glory to Yahweh Hashem and Shai, whenever we do give alms or what have you, that's what's going to be looked at as a righteous act. That's right. right. That is what's going to be able to cover that multitude of sins that we partaken in when we were not in the know. That's right. Reading on uh, to uh, verse uh, 19 one more time, Bubba Kishaw. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 34, verse 19. The Most High is not pleased with the offerings of the wicked. Neither is he pacified for sin by the multitude of sacrifices. Exactly. Whoso bringeth an offering of the goods of the poor do it as one that killeth the son before his father's eyes. Exactly, and, you know, and that's what we were talking about earlier as far as trying to make it in this society. It, it mo most likely, if you do try to make it in society and, and open up a business or open up a, an organization, whatever you try to do and be rich in this society, a lot of times, hey, you're going to end up oppressing people, man. That's right. You know? That's right. You're going to end up taking advantage of people. That's right. You know? And, and, and the Most High is not pleased with that. Come you know, on. whenever you're giving alms under those circumstances. You see? Whatever you're doing, you got to make sure that you're doing it to glory. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Let me get the book of uh, uh, Ecclesiastes, uh, chapter 9, and, and verse 10, uh, Bubba Kishaw. Reading on. This is the book of, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 34, verse 21. The bread of the needy is their life. Hey, the bread of what? The bread of the needy is their life. He that defraudeth him, therefore, is a man of blood. Exactly. You see, and, and that and that goes to whether or not if, if you have an organization or, or if you have a, a business, whether if you're preaching the gospel, you know, and, and you're not preaching the truth, you see, and, and you're deceiving your flock, and, and you're and, and you're you're not giving them that bread. You know uh, that that water and that and that wine or what have you in righteousness. You're you're, you're giving them that wine in, in, in wickedness and defrauding the people or what have you and just taking their money, being a hireling or what have you. Hey man, yo the Lord, hey you're a, you're a murderer under that regard, man. That's right. You know because hey you're just leading the sheep to the slaughter, man. That's right. When you do that, you see everything you do, you got to make sure you do it with your might. Let me get uh, the book of Sir, uh, uh, Ecclesiastes 9 and 10, Bubba Kishon. This is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 10. Yeah. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, 
to do it with thy might. Hey, whatsoever you do. So if you're going to be talking about being in this truth or what have you, hey, man, you better do it with your might out here, man. Right. You know, not, not wishy-washy, one foot in, one foot out. Whatever your gift is, hey, you got to be doing it with your might, man. Right. Reading on. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave. Brother, that exactly. So, because once, hey, once that spirit is required, and that, and your flesh goes down into the dirt, hey, man, you ain't gonna be able to get any of that time back to be able to come back on the earth, you know, and, and, and be able to make up for time lost out here, man. You know, our people walk around lost out here. You ask them, hey, hey, brother, you got a, a minute to hear the word of the Lord? You know your nationality according to the Bible? You know your nationality, brother? Just a simple question, man. Like, hey, we, hey, which, hey, the, the Lord is reaching out to His people, man. That's right. But, but if they don't have ears to hear, hey, man. Hey, let me get uh, the book of uh, Matthew, uh, chapter uh, uh, fifteen and verse ten. Uh, whoever want to get it, you know. And then, and then, and then you get. Um, let me get um, uh, Psalms uh, twenty-six and one, Bubba Gashaw. We'll just go there. This is the book of Matthew, chapter fourteen, verse. Oh no, fifteen, verse ten, Bubba Gashaw. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 10. <clears throat> and he called the multitude and said unto them, Hear and understand. Hey, hey. The, hey, we got to get that one more time. You see, the Lord don't have to say a whole lot of words for it to mean a whole lot. You see, these are three words right here that mean a whole lot to this truth right here. Reading on. Matt, one, more, one more time, Bubba Kishaw. Matthew chapter 15 verse 10 and he called the multitude and said unto them hear and understand hey, you gotta hear and, and, you understand. Go and understand that's right you see see Jake be walking around here with that I hear you spirit but I, I, I'm gonna do this or I hear you but you know I'm gonna do things on my terms you know hey you, you can't be like that man you gotta hear and you gotta understand that's right you see you got to fear the Lord, first and foremost, or what have you. Let me get uh, Job 28 and verse 28, Bubba Kishaw, and then we'll get this over here uh, right after. Because we got to get that point there. Hear and understand. That's right. You see? And there's, and, there, and there's a way that you demonstrate understanding according to the scriptures here, Israel. Hear and understand. Reading on. This is the book of Job, chapter 28, verse 28. Bring it out. And, and unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. Hey, so the fear of the Lord, that's wisdom right there. Ah. You see, that's first and foremost. Reading on. And to depart from evil is understanding. And to depart from evil is understanding. That's right. You see, so you got to hear and you got to be departing from evil as well. You see, which means coming out of the ways of this world. Coming out of Babylon. That's what we got to be doing and coming back to these law, statutes, and commandments.